Hey good lookins, what's cookins? Beth back here again for some more Pokemon Ultra Sun Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the Executor Island thing. And that was about it. I kind of complained about it. Uh, because of how it didn't, like, do everything that it's supposed to. Or at least what it did in uh, Sun and Moon. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, in terms of where to go next, we have to head through the final trial of the game, which is the dragon one. Uh, I think that might honestly just be all we have to worry about. I went ahead and updated Citra, so hopefully the audio should be a bit better. I don't know why, it's coming across very loud on my end. Uh, I guess it might just be because I updated my audio drivers to actually work properly, so who knows. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe like the noises are amplified in the mix that I'm doing. I, can you seriously not run from a frickin' Alekid who is literally four, like it's literally ten levels underneath you, Lemonade. Bro, darling, come on now. And speaking of darling, also in the last episode, you got to hear me moan, so that's a fucking fun one for all y'all out there. Doesn't take much. Oh, hey, ignore the graphics. They're meant to do that. It's even in the cutscene. You're from Team Skull. What is it that you want from us? You're the gum. I heard about you numbskulls at Aether. Do you really think you know how to open an ultra wormhole and save our boy Guzma? Let me see if you really are better the bone enough to save our boy Guzma. Alright. I mean, that's fair. I will 100% allow that. I am... Is that shiny? No, it's not. Okay. I thought the tint was a bit off. I'm opening a freaking another LaCroix since I have to just get through these as fast as possible. It's just water. Just fizzy, bubbly water. No flavor. Love it. Okay, no bones about it. You're way stronger than me. <laughs> oh, there's Plumerina. Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all our Pokemon at once then, little home slice. We'll give 500% to save our boy Guzma. Oh, hey, it's a shiny Beware. This is one of my favorite shinies in the game. So, I'm gonna make a big- oh, nope, you're on nerve. Okay, I, I was gonna make big brain prediction and say you're fluffy and go for fiery dance. But in that case, uh, let's head out into Remnant and just hit it with Psycho Cut. We haven't gotten a chance to use Remnant yet, so this is a perfect opportunity. Or not. Okay. True it is. So, one thing I forgot to mention in the uh, last episode, which for those uninitiated, uh, I had a- I, I went out and purchased Monster and other drinks, and I, uh, uh, my, I put them in the trunk of my car, which apparently had had a leak at some point. So the trunk was damp, and then all the items became damp and sticky. I think it's because there was a damp rid bag in there at one point that had fallen over, and yeah. So all the boxes became sticky, and I had to throw them away, so I just have free-range cans everywhere. But also, in the time I was putting things, like, taking things inside and outside, I laid them down on the stairs going up to my room 
and that's carpet. So in between episodes, uh, I went ahead and made sure that there was no sticky residue left in the carpet. And I scrubbed it a lot, but I'm not sure if I got all of it, but like I did the best I could realistically. And at this point, there's like nothing else I can really do. Like as soon as you like scrub it down with multiple cleaners and it's not perfect, then well, you kind of just have to hope that it dries. That's basically it. Christ. Are we, like, we're not under-leveled. We're just, like, taking some serious damage here. What the heck? You can have Lightning Rod. I'm going to go, ba go back out into shoe. But I I'm 90% sure that I got a solid, like, 90, like, 90 to 98% of it. So I'm not that concerned, it's just like, I would pref- It's just like, it's a messed up situation, I feel awful, but also like, how am I supposed to- How am I supposed to know that something like that happens, and both of my parents are at work, so... I mean, I can always explain that to them later. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. Makes the most sense to do that. I just don't want to do it right now, because, like, if I send, like, the group text out, including my sister, my sister is also home, and I don't know why, but she seems very judgmental of literally everything I do all of the time, uh, and I am frankly scared of her, so. Especially since I can never gauge what mood she's in, uh, like, she is a lot like my dad in that fact of, like, if you don't know the, um, like, if you don't know what they're going through at that moment, then it's real, like, if you have no guarantee that they are doing fine, you should not risk it. Just now. For your safety and the safety of, of others. I may have lost, but listen up, yo, save our Guzma for us. You dummies. They're trying to save the boss, so what do you want to get in their way for? Hmm, <laughs> you, girly. Lily, right? Hmm. <laughs> you ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president, my mother is... she's selfish. She decides all by herself what she thinks needs to be done to make other people happy, not even caring what it is they may want. People ought to help one another out. That's what I've learned here in Alola, and that's what I'm going to teach her as well. And I think we can save Mr. Guzma. Hmm. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Beth, Lily, I know you have no reason to help, but... Could you help us save Guzma? That big dummy, I don't think he's aware of it, but... Alola really means a lot to him. That's why he's doing something so reckless to try to save it. Uh, the poison type Z crystal. Maybe it'll help you somehow. I guess giving you the Z crystal is also kind of, what do you call it, helping each other? Oh yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you? You better ca take care of it. It's one special Z power ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down on upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me again. And here, let me thank your team, too. 
Alright, let's go to the altar. The vast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. <laughs> I like the road of the saying. I am getting less and less afraid of Team Skull. Yeah. You should have never been afraid of them, to be honest. They're just like... <laughs> they're just dudes. Alright, I do have to fight Hapu, though. Now, did everything go well? Well, I... I had to have Beth do everything for me yet again, but... Nothing wrong... There's nothing wrong with that, Lily. People cannot survive all on their own. They gotta help one another out. Same for Pokemon, too. That's what my grandfather used to say. It's that kind of your Beth that keeps that brilliant smile on Lily's face. Oh, fucking hell. Please wait. We have been betrayed by Lusamine. And now we are expected to put our faith in a child like you next. Even if we are still weak, we have also learned to do battle with Pokemon. We should be able to resolve this situation with Necrozma ourselves. I will defeat you and we will handle things with our own power this time. I like Zussie, but I do not like Dulce. Oh, you have six Pokemon. Rad. That is a Mega Gengar. Alright, well... Okay. Oh man, I only have pi Oh, right. I'm trapped in here. X defense, interesting. I mean, Mega Gengar is an Uber, so I am afraid of how much damage it d and it does one point over. I think, honest to god, even with it paralyzed, it will outspeed me, so I need to... I need to Hyper Potion and see if, uh... Okay. Alright, there goes Gengar. Magirna, okay. That's Steel Fairy. I guess the best response would be send in a uh, frickin' Peck and Fire Punch. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to waste my Z move just yet. I think one Fire Punch should. Okay, nope. I. I think I have lost Peck. Yeah, that's about what I... Oh, God, that's bad. That is not good. Okay, um... So, funnily enough, the best thing for this right now is probably Shu. And I really don't want to lose them. But that is a steel type, so that is the most damage I can do. You've dropped you have dropped so much it you have dropped so much Oh my god, it's still did so much. Are you f Okay, I understand. I've made my mistake. Fiery dance, I guess. I, I really don't want to lose lemonade though. Special attack is two down, though, and we are bulky. Oh my god, Lemonade, I'm so fucking glad that you broke through that. Holy shit, that... <sighs> that is upsetting. Sableye, okay, um... I think we just have to keep out Lemonade right now. Are you going to be Mega? You're not, okay. K 
Okay, okay. Oh my god, this sucks. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Tapu Finny? Are you kidding me? Hi, I think we have a literal chance of losing. Like, genuinely. I should have used my Z-move. I, I lost two Pokemon because I wasn't sure what was coming next. And I thought, you know, it c it's bad now, but it could get worse. But I, I should have considered that log logistically, Magirna is like a Pokemon we have no real option to, like, fight. Absol... Still Lemonade. Lemonade carrying the team on her back. Oh my god, it's a mega Absol too. This is... Okay. By far... Probably... Like... We keep hitting some, like, serious roadblocks, I will say. Like, holy shit. And those were, like, two of my stronger members as well. That is a DNC. Okay. Okay. Lemonade stays in shiny DNC. Shiny mega DNC, even? I have to hit it with anchor shot. It's four times effective. It's going to be the most powerful thing I can currently do to it. Okay. I know I'm probably going to get earthquaked into the next dimension if this doesn't kill, but I had to try it. It was way safer than sending in Sue. Um, I'm going to be honest, extra sensory is probably better than water shuriken. Just having variety on the move sets are a lot better. Do I understand my Pokemon a little better now? And you gave me no money. No money, broke ass motherfucker. Can we not stand up against the long history of a region like Alola where the culture of Pokemon battling has had so long to develop? Hmm. The people of Alola get along and get to know each other through Pokemon battles. Howdy, I'm the Kahuna of this island, Hapu. You're from the Beast World, are you not? We here in Alola have long lived with, together with our Pokemon, being aided with them to survive. If you are in some sort of trouble, then we will gladly come to your aid however we can. You just killed two of my Pokemon. I don't want to help you. That is most generous of you. When Necrozma comes, then will you battle it? Well then, the, the path to the shrine is through the canyon. You will find other trainers in this place, though. They come for Triton. It will be a tough road. And you'll have to pitch in too, Lily. But if you two end up in any real trouble, Mudsdale and I will hasten to you. Thank you, Hapu. I will do all I can to help Beth. I need to go to the Pokemon Center. We have moved three feet forward in the past two episodes. Alright, well... <sighs> well, um... Oh my god, look at the frickin' power that is in the Ultra Despair box. 
We've gone through almost two entire teams of Pokemon. Okay. So logically. Let's let's see. We no longer have any fighting types, which is um that's new. We don't really have a proper grass type replacement. I mean, I guess we have we have retribution and flowey, but like neither of them are particularly strong. The thing with Dream, oh, first of all, we have a Psychic type, so we really, we wouldn't benefit that much from it. We already have a Psychic type, even if you do have Pure Power. As much as I would love to put Tracer back on the team, it's just they're not particularly strong, and going through a playthrough, you kind of need strength and anything. Already have a Dark type, probably shouldn't do it. Kalang is the first pick for me to put back onto the team, though. That is Fighting and Dragon, and we currently have neither of those. In terms of the next... I mean, Dive is here. Uh... And we have one other fire type in Bingo, but it's not really, um, it's not really an ideal thing to have. My team is very afraid of a Magirna looking at it. If we run into another Magirna, we're actually probably fucked. Like, there's no way. I don't think... Like, this isn't it. Now, Neon is two dual type, like, it, it's our two repeat typings. Should I just put Stocking back on the team? Honestly... I mean, okay, realistically... Crobat is the pick. But peep, but there is a large part of me that would like to pick to add stocking onto the team. Alright, well, I will get these leveled up and, uh, man, I'm probably, I think I'm going to get everything up to, like, level 55. I'm going to get this to evolve, but thank you t for all, uh, th thank you all so very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!